guys welcome back to another speed build video and in today's video I built the fanciest little aesthetic restaurant and let me tell you this place is massive um I tried to shorten down the video as most as I can so it is a like probably like 10 ish minute video so it's not too long to watch so hopefully you can stay around stick to the end for the screenshots and there is a little surprise in the end it's kind of creepy but still is everything and i know you guys are gonna love it so please stick around till the end so you guys can find out what the surprise is um can i also say that when i'm recording this if you hear any noises in the background it's because there are um small children and um people in my house um, so it's kind of all crazy and everything right now, but it's still just, you can ignore the background noise, thank you. Um, this place is massive. There are bathrooms, I did remember to put in a, a couple bins, um, and then it's just like a massive place and I didn't really want it to be so big, but you know, it ended up being mahoosive. This place also is on the rooftop, like bar lounge place where that Stargazer lounge was in the city. Um, and I replaced it with this build, obviously, so you guys can do that in your game as well. Just because I made it to fit the on top of the city lot. You can put it down on a flat lot, but I don't think it'll look as good because I really based it off the views. And that's why there are so many windows. Um, this is the little entrance way because you need to obviously get up to the um, rooftop restaurant. So this is the entrance way where everyone can hang their coats, bags, hats, and, you know, scarves and whatever. Um... This build has lots and lots of Get Famous in it, so if you don't have Get Famous, very sorry, but like you're going to have to try and replace a lot of it. Um, I'm going to try to do a restricted pack build, um, please comment down below video ideas for me to do because I'm running low on them. Um, I do have video ideas, I just want more inspiration, so if you guys do have any inspiration ideas, please comment them down below and it will be very, very helpful. Um, this back wall, the feature wall that has the lofted roof. Um, I made into a fairy light wall because if you're new around here, we like fairy lights, okay? Especially these festive ones. Um, we love them. Um, so there is a big wall of that, and then there is like a quote thing that I put in the middle, and I thought that that would be the owner's like quote that they would put down, and it would always be there. Also, throughout this video, a little caution thing kept popping up. Don't know why it kept popping up. Tried to figure it out, but didn't really work. Um, also, thank you to the goddess that um, commented about how to get off the, you know, little things that show me how to play the game um, from the side. So I've got them off now. It was in game options. Thank you so much. You're literally a queen and I'm shooketh. But I'm just so happy because, like, I was stressing about that. But now it's all fine. We don't hate The Sims anymore. You know, The Sims is an amazing game. Would recommend buying. You will lose a lot of money from it, though. Especially, you know, when you're buying a lot of packs, like me. Kind of addicted. Anyway, this is the kitchen. The kitchen is so cool because I thought you know it's a big restaurant so we're gonna get a lot of chefs in here so then I was like why don't we just make the kitchen a bit bougie you know if you're gonna work in a bougie restaurant you may as well have a bougie kitchen um so I put in a fish tank you can you just saw me putting it in so I basically put a square that I was like oh it's holding up the ceiling it's like support but they put the inside as fish tanks so I used two of the sides as windows and then raised up the dine out fish tanks to go on top of each other and it just looked really cute and I love it um very adorable love that um because also I thought when you went to the restaurant they would add in like what the kitchen looks like just for the extra like ooh tips like look at my cool kitchen you know that that kind of vibe. I really wanted to add like a textured wall on the outside but it wasn't really working so you know it might not ha it isn't textured in the end but it's okay because I feel like I added a couple feature walls and it looked decent. Also I added a lot of vintage glamour in this and I never use vintage glamour and I'm kind of scared to use it just because it's such a weird pack. Um, not saying like if you like vintage glamour you're weird but like I never use it I'm more of like a modern kind of person and they do have modern stuff just like it's vintage and i'm like it's vintage modern doesn't really work also just discovered this vampire's light i was like does it look a bit too vampy well no because i used it in the game it like hangs over the seating area so perfect and i just love it very gorgeous also there are some vampire pic pictures and i'm noticing this now and there's a vampire's rug a vampire's lamp va vampire pictures but does anyone else go to restaurants and they just have these weird pictures of people and you're like 
to Wii U, but like those, I put those in there. Um, also this place has so many tables, but I tried to not make it look like it was just all seating, and I feel like I did that well with like making rugs and stuff, not to, you know, toot my own horn, or whatever it's called. Um, this is a little entrance where I wanted to make it feel bougie, like, I wanted to make it feel like you came in and you were like separated, and then you entered and it was like this big feature wall with the high ceilings and then all the seats around you and then there's like the little nook that you can sit on the sofas with I just wanted it to be very much like that and then in this corner it was like at the big table because does anyone else play with it big legacy families you know you're really really rich and then you're like wait where do I go because there's no big enough table and it's all like tables for two or like tables for three or tables for four but there's no like nice table for like, what is it I think it's eight yeah eight so i always want those so i added in one of those so you guys can bring your legacy families here also the reason why well what inspired me to do this was i did a like restaurant build and it wasn't you know the bougiest it was a fast food restaurant um and it wasn't you know it was the opposite of bougie some would say honestly it is opposite of bougie um, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna make a bougie, bougie restaurant, and this is what this video is. So, um, also, if you guys like this, please subscribe, because if you're new around here, really, like, it, I get very happy when new people subscribe. Um, so if you're new, please subscribe, because that, that would mean literally the whole world to me, and it's just very nice. And lots of people say it will mean the whole world to me, but honey, it means more than the world. It means, you know, the galaxy, the world, Star Wars, and everything on the planet, okay? Um, also, I really, really wanted to put the table in this little nook with a bunch of seats on a, just on a slant, but not too far on a slant, but just twisted just so it's a little bit on a slant but obviously I play on Xbox and if you didn't know that yes um I like to torture myself by playing on Xbox um so I can't do that because you know you can't like move it all the way around and it'd be cool which you should be able to do you should just be able to press those little like trigger clips on the end of the controller I always forget what they're called because my brain just does it without thinking um so I always forget that but um you should be able to press that and then just see a little toggle stick and it should do that but whatever um sims potentially an update that could bring this also looking at the downstairs now my game did crash i did cry once or twice um because i saw it and I, I spent so much work um so you'll see me saving and then i did the whole upstairs and you know it, it crashed and all of this like microphone stand stuff and the rugs and the upstairs all disappeared so it looks quite different um and i go back in i think and do it all over again um, I can't really remember, I feel like I cut out me doing the rest of it, because it wasn't, you know, that entertaining, it was just me doing the same thing over and over again. I tried to make it look as similar, but it will look different in the screenshots. Um, I like the upstairs so much, it just seems more of like a cute, more, like, I quite like small and closed spaces, as you can tell by my many tiny home. I'm always like, I don't like big homes, I want to do a tiny home, and then I end up building massive homes. So, um, you know, we're just going to deal with that. This is your little surprise. Do you see it? It's a Baby Yoda tunnel. In the little turret is Baby Yoda. Um, anyway, this is the way you come up. I managed to get the screenshots when it was sun setting, and there's an outdoor bar area just so you can, like, chill, get a drink if you don't want to go inside. Maybe if Sims aren't rich enough. <laughs> Um, and then inside, you know, some lovely I'm Living Sims and modelling the entrance way. And then this is the main area where you can look up to the lofted ceilings. And, you know, just all of the plants and the fairy lights looking very vibey, very Instagram worthy. Um, and then this is the other right side of the building. And then through this door is the kitchen. The bougiest kitchen of them all, would I say? Yes. Um, this lady's doing her little snooty walk because this is a snooty place. Um, there are so many, like, look at all the chef stations, like, it's just so vibey and feels so homey and just so realistic. Um, and I'm really happy how this turned out. I say it every time, but I wouldn't upload a video if I wasn't happy with how it turned out, apart from my, um, solid build colour challenge. Um, but I, hopefully you guys like this, please comment down below if you liked it. Um, also subscribe, um, please go check out some of my other videos because it literally is so nice and helpful. But, um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye! Thank you.